solve problem on balancing of several masses rotating in different planes by analytical method given question a shaft carries four masses in parallel planes a b c and d in this order along its length the masses at b and c are 18 kg and 12.5 kg respectively and each has an eccentricity of 60 mm the masses at a and d have an eccentricity of 80 mm the angle between the masses at b and c is 100 degree and between masses b and a is 190 degree both being measured in the same direction the axial distance between plane a and b is 100 mm and between b and c is 200 mm if the shaft is in complete dynamic balance determine first magnitude of masses a and d second distance between planes a and d third angular position of mass at d in this question four masses a b c and d are rotating in different planes about the same shaft which are dynamically balanced to solve the question by analytical method we are going to fill up this table as per the given data first column is plane so there are four planes a b c and d next column for mass in kilogram now the mass in kilogram for b and c is given but the mass for a and d is not mentioned and we have to find out as ma and and md then radius of rotation so standard unit is meter so this radius of rotation we have to mention for all these masses which are also mentioned in question now next angle theta so angle theta for a and c with respect to b is mentioned in the question so we will consider the angle for b is equal to 0 so this is our assumption and then with respect to b angle a is 190 degree and angle for c is 100 degree now the angle for d is not given so we will say that theta d and we have to find out now we will find out the centrifugal force and we know that centrifugal force is equal to m r omega square but all these masses are rotating about the shaft with same angular velocity so here omega remain constant so we will consider f is equal to mr and we will find out value so how to find out the first value so here uh, m into r so here ma is unknown so we will write here 0.08 ma now for b it is 18 into 0.06 for c it is 12.5 into 0.06 and for the d it is 0.08 md now we will find out horizontal component as well as vertical component for this force so for horizontal component we have formula f cos theta so we will apply this for a so what is f so f is 0.08 ma cos of theta that is cos of 190 so with the help of calculator cos of 190 minus 0.98 multiplied by 0.08 and that is equal to minus 0.07878 ma now next f cos theta is applied for b where f is 1.08 cos of 0 that is 1.08 for c it is minus 0. 1302 now for d how to find out so 0.08 md into cos of theta so here theta d is unknown so we will write here 0.08 md cos of theta d now we will find out the vertical component so f sin theta so instead of cos theta we have to find out sin of 190 so it is minus 0.70 into Say one seven into zero point zero eight. That is minus zero point zero one three eight ma. 
Now in the same way the, here each sign of 0 that is 0. Then for C it is 0 0.7386 and for D theta D is unknown. So we will write here F is 0 0.08 MD sine of theta D. Now we will move to the next L. So what is this distance L? That is the axial distance in between different planes. Now we have to find out first reference plane or we have to decide any one plane as a reference plane. Now if we observe for A and D, these are two unknown because we have to find out mass of A as well as mass of D. So we have two options to decide the reference plane. So we will decide, we can decide either A or D. So I will decide this plane A as a reference plane. So I will mark here this A as a reference plane. So we have to mark out this and then only we will find out the distance from this reference plane for the other plane. So what is the distance of plane A for, from the reference plane? So A itself is a reference plane. So L is equal to 0. Now what is the distance of B? So B to A distance is 0 0.1 that is mentioned. Now in between B and C distance is mentioned in the question but we have to find out the total distance of C from A that is 0 0.3 and now what is the distance from this D from A so we will consider here as a LD and which we have to find out. Now we will find out couple so again for couple we will find out the horizontal component as well as vertical component. So what is the formula to find out couple? So for the horizontal component, we have to take horizontal component of 4, fourths multiplied by this value of L. So 0 into minus 0 0.078 MA, that is 0. Then here 0 0.1 into 1.08, that is 0 0.108. Then minus 0 0.039. And for D, if we observe, we have to take horizontal component multiplied by L. That is 0 0.08 MD sine of theta D LD. Now we will move to the vertical component. So for vertical component again FV into L. So 0 into this term that is 0. Then FV into L that is 0 into 0 0.1 again 0. Then 0 0.7386 into 0 0.3 that is 0 0.2215 and again we will move 0 0.08 md sine of theta d sorry here uh, cos of theta d because this is the horizontal component so here will be cos of theta d and here sine of theta d ld now if we compare these fourths as well as couple columns then in fourths column there are two unknown terms that I have written with the help of red marker. But in couple column there is only one unknown term. So we will first resolve this couple that is we will consider the summation of CH and summation of CV. So what is the addition of all these numbers that is 0 plus 0 0.108 minus 0 0.039 plus 0 0.08 md cos of theta d ld. Now we will consider this summation of ch is equal to 0. So when we solve this we will keep this unknown term on the left hand side and all the known terms to the right hand side. So when we solve this then we will get md ld cos of theta d is equal to minus 0 0.8625 and this is the equation number 1. Now in the same way we will take here the summation of CV is equal to 0. So here 0 0.2215 plus 0 0.08 MD LD sin of theta D is equal to 0. So we will keep here unknown term on one side and all the known terms to the right hand side. So MD LD sin of theta D is equal to minus 2.7687 and this is the equation number 2. Now we will divide this equation that is equation number 2 by equation number 1. Then what will happen this MD LD is the common term and that will be getting cancelled and sin theta by cos theta is equal to tan theta. So here I will cancel this to decide in which quadrant the angle theta lies. We have to first find out the value of sin theta and value of cos theta. 
So in this case, sin theta d is equal to minus 2.7687 and cos theta d is equal to minus 0 0.8625. Now we will understand with the help of four quadrants. The horizontal line indicates the values for cos theta and this vertical line indicates the values for sin theta. So we know that on the right hand side the values are positive and this upward side the values are positive. So when the sin theta and cos theta both values are positive then when we solve the angle for theta then this theta angle will lie in the first quadrant. Now we will move next. So here we know that on this side values are negative. So when the cos theta value is negative and sin theta value is positive, the angle will lie in the second quadrant. Now we know that this downward side the values are negative. So when sin theta values are negative and cos theta value is also negative, then that calculated angle will lie in the third quadrant. And here, when this cos theta value is positive but sin theta value is negative, then the value of that angle will lie in the fourth quadrant. Now, when we calculate this sin theta d by cos theta d, that means tan theta d. And we have to take the tan inverse to calculate this theta d. So, theta d is equal to 7 to 69, 7 to degree. But this this angle theta d will lie in the third quadrant because sin theta d and cos theta d both are negative. So we have to take 180 plus 72.69 degree. So when we take this 180 plus 72 then we will get 252.69 degree. And we know that we measure the angle in this direction that is in the anticlockwise direction. So here the angle at 252 degree. Now we will show summation of fh is equal to 0. So we will add all these numbers minus 0 0.078 ma plus 1.08 minus 0 0.1302 plus 0 0.08 md cos of now theta d that we have calculated cos of 252.69 which is equal to 0. Now we will keep unknown terms on left hand side. So this is the unknown term and this here is also the unknown term. And we will transfer the other terms to the right hand side. So we will take here minus 0 0.078 ma. Now we will solve this. Cos of 252. 252.69. So here minus 0 0.2975 multiplied by 0 0.08. It is minus 0 0.02379 and we will take md as it is which is equal to minus 0 0.9498. Now if we observe we will take minus n common from the left hand side and this minus minus is getting cancelled. So what will be the simplified form that is 0 0.0787 ma plus 0 0.02379 md is equal to 0 0.9498. So this is the equation number 3. Now we will take summation of fv is equal to 0. So again we will add all these numbers. So here we will take which is equal to 0. Now unknown terms. These two are the unknown terms. Now here theta d we have to put uh, 252.69. So again we, will, we have to take minus sign as a common on both sides and we have to cancel that. So what is the simplified form? 0 0.0138 ma plus 0 0.07637 md is equal to 0 0.7386 and that is the equation number 4. Now we will solve these two equations. So because the, this is the common unknown term ma as well as md. So when we solve these two equations then we will get the answer ma is equal to 9.67 gram and md is 7.9233 kilogram. Now we have to find out LD that is the distance of this mass of D, mass at D from this plane A that is the reference plane. Now if we observe here MA is known so we will put the value of MA and uh, we know the equation that is MD LD, MD LD sine of theta D that is equal to minus 2687. 
So if we take here this and if we solve this then we get the cos theta d is also known and md is also known then there is only one unknown term that is ld and ld is equal to 0 0.366 meter.